Hi, my nursing colleagues. Today I will be discussing about how to measure EKG using electronic calipers. You know that we can measure EKG using physical calipers, using our pens, counting the smaller boxes, but it has been made easy to calculate this EKG with the use of electronic calipers. So let's use this um, EKG um, on the monitor as an example. So uh, we go to with review here, then click on any reading that I want. So now, here, this is where there is electronic caliper. Electronic caliper is here. So we click on it, and then it shows us these measurements that we need in order to calculate. And um, let's assume that uh, this is a six second strip. So let's say that our six second strip ends here. Let's say it ends here. It ends here. So that means that um, the first thing we do is to calculate, to, uh, I mean, to assess if the rhythm is regular and if the rate is within normal limits. So in a six second strip, we can see that um, this is, we count the number of halves. The number of halves times 10 in a six second strip. So we all know the anatomy of the EKG wave. So now let's say this is Q, R, S. So we count the half, the half. So now, in this case, the number of halves in a six second strip, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means seven times 10, that is 70 beats per minute. So the rate is 70 beats per minute. Now the rhythm, to calculate the rhythm to, we want to see the number we want to see if there is equidistance between the halves. That is, if the distance from one half to another half is the same or fairly the same. So in this case, this is, let's, say, let's start from here. This is how, this is how to how, that is, a, is 0 0.75. This is another how to, that is 0 0.76, not bad. From here to here, that is 0 0.7072, not really bad. From here to here, 0 0.71. So we can say that it is fairly regular. But if the distance is so large, is so uh, much that, for instance, if the distance from one half to another half is 0 0.70. From this half to this half is 0 0.80. You know, that is a wide gap. So in that case, the rhythm is not regular. But in this case, the rhythm is fairly regular. So now let's measure our R, R interval. From here to here, that is 0 0.70 seconds. So we just come here and click on our R, R. So now we want to measure the P, R interval. P, R interval begins from the start of P wave and ends at the beginning of QRS complex. So our PR is, is 0 0.12. Then we come here and click on PR and it automatically populates 0 0.12. And then you know the normal PR interval is between 0 0.12 and 0 0.20 second. So now let's calculate how our QRS complex. Our QRS complex begins from the start of Q 
kill and ends at the end and I mean and ends at s so our q out s complex is in this um ekg 0.08 seconds so i just come here and click on qrs and also was we also want to measure the qt interval we all know that a qt interval is essential to be monitored in patients on sedatives or in patients who are taking medications that can prolong qt interval you know prolonged qt interval can cause dyslipidemia such as ventricular tachycardia ventricular fibrillation which can lead to acetal and other um, lethal events so we don't want the patients to be um, um, to have complications from prolonged QT interval that is why it is essential to monitor this QT interval so now to measure the QT interval we start we place our cursor on the beginning of Q and ends at um, T wave that is QT interval starts from the beginning of Q LS and ends at T wave so in this case our QT interval is 0.39 Ideally, QT interval should be less than 0.44. So in this case, our QT interval is within limit, is within normal limit. So we have now measured the wave. I mean, the PR, QRS, QT, our house, our QTC, the measurements of all these um uh, PL, QRS, QT, and how how. So if you just click on QTC, you know, it tells you the value is 0.47. So the most important thing here is the PL, QRS, QT, and the how how. So that is um, 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 the use of electronic caliper to measure the EKG. Electronic caliper to measure the EKG. It can also tell you, I mean, we can also interpret this EKG to the measurements we have here. So in this EKG, we can say that this is a normal sinus rhythm EKG. This is a normal sinus rhythm EKG because there is P wave here, followed by QRS complex, followed by T wave so and this another one P wave followed by QRS complex followed by T wave another one here P wave followed by QRS complex followed by T wave so this is a normal sinus rhythm and we can see the values that they are within normal limits so this is a normal sinus rhythm thank you for listening bye